So AOC, Congresswoman AOC, she, she went on Instagram, uh, you know, she, she does uh, these Instagram lives very often, and she had, a, uh, <laughs> she had a meltdown, right? I mean, hey, we all have meltdowns, right? It's, it's some, some, some righteous indignation is good. But uh, I want to show you hers, and you can tell me what you think of it. I know what I think of it, but uh, just pay attention to what she says. Are you ready? Let, let's go, man. Because it's not a border crisis. It's an imperialism crisis. It's a climate crisis. It's a trade crisis. And also, it's a carceral crisis. Because as I have already said, even during this term and this president, our immigration system is based and designed on our carceral system. <laughs> oh, God, that was brilliant, man. As I've said during this presidency, motherfucker, I will cut you, bitch. And the last one, this is a carceral issue. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit y'all better be y'all better be afraid man she's she told us huh she she did two strongly worded tweets you remember now to her credit there's an update on that there's an update on what on, on her criticism of the biden administration right from from a few hours ago we'll get to that in a second <laughs> but this is this is from yesterday okay so up until that point <laughs> as i've said <laughs> with the zoom ins <laughs> Uh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, she's great, huh? She's great. She she went on full Karen mode. I love it. I love it. It's not her best act. You know, I, I feel like she's a better actress than this, usually. But <laughs> you can tell she's annoyed. She she can hear it. I, I like she knows that we know she knows, okay? <laughs> she knows. She knows. And this is good, man, because you know. I'm, I'm not the congresswoman who was elected to represent Queens and the Bronx. I mean, you were. So, you know, uh, I know that no single congressperson or, or senator can, can fix the ills of D.C. But nonetheless, I mean, you shouldn't be wagging your finger at your constituents or, you know, people rightfully uh, calling you out for carrying water for Biden. So, I mean, first of all, she says it's an imperialism problem. Oh, you, you have a problem with imperialism now, AOC? Really? Is that true? Is that why you haven't said anything about Biden bombing Syria? I, I think I have a right to ask as a Syrian. I think I have a right. No? That, that, that imperialism does not bother you. Or, you know, Biden stealing the oil, right? $30 million a month worth of oil. That, you know, that part of imperialism doesn't bother you. Do you remember when, when Max Blumenthal confronted her about Venezuela, about the, the coup? So th this, this is from, hold on, let me, let me pull this up for you. Okay, so he here's that exchange with AOC, which was more or less consistent with the pathetic responses I received all day from members of Congress as the Trump admin launched a violent coup against Venezuela. Let me play this for you, okay? <laughs> which is which is what every anti-imperialist says right uh we're working on a response but thank you uh <laughs> yeah right that's how you impose imperialism okay um <laughs> I, I i i think it's interesting that she she calls it out as a carceral crisis as well you know um because once again the first thing you do when you learn of the the prison industrial complex and you learn of the uh the corruption, the profiteering off of jailing, off of modern slavery. The first thing you go and do is you elect a jailer and the guy who wrote the crime bill, right? That makes total fucking sense. <laughs> if she's so woke, okay, if AOC understands what's going on, and, and look, let, let's be clear, I'm, I'm not disagreeing with her. I, I, I agree with everything she's saying. The problem is I don't think that she agrees with it. I think she's just saying it. Do you understand? It's not consistent with her behavior regularly, right? She, you know, when you stay silent about uh, plundering oil, about sanctions, about bombings, you're one of the most popular politicians in the country. I'm going to take that as you uh, being complicit because that's what it is, right? And, and this kind of shit with Venezuela, I mean, what am I supposed to say here? <laughs> 
look, man, let, let's be clear about something else, because these these uh, images that have come out of the uh, the border. Let me let me show you some of them, right? Because in case you've forgotten uh, what's going on. Give me a second. Right. I mean, look, look at this. Look at that. That looks like a cage to me. It's a transparent cage. They took off the metal uh, mesh. It, it's still a cage. That That is a cage. Uh, those are cages. Okay, this is in Donna, Texas. Those are cages. So when you call that kids in cages under Trump, and now you don't, something going on here, right? There's something going on here. And you look at her language. You know, when, when Donald Trump was doing this, when Donald Trump was doing this, she called them concentration camps. That's what AOC said, okay? Look, she said this, when is this? Uh, July 2nd, 2019. Look, she says, these are concentration camps. And then again over here, she says it, a month before, in June, June uh, 2019, okay? She says, this administration has established concentration camps. Again, justifying. She's justifying the terminology here. She's saying concentration camps are considered by experts as the, quote, mass detention of civilians without trial, unquote. So my question again is, why is she using such, um, you know, uh, clear language? Very, I mean, she's unloading on Trump. She's not mincing her words. And yet now when it comes to Biden, she says, oh, look, you know, it's our whole system. The, the whole system is like that, you know, like it's <laughs> it's not Biden. No, no, it's the system. You know, our, our whole immigration system is based off of, uh, you know, the prison industrial complex. It's an imperialism issue. Like every, everyone is bad. It's not just Biden. You weren't saying that shit when Trump was doing it. <laughs> what? I mean, look, again, I agree with her. The entire system is like that. But who, who helped build that system? Who wrote the fucking crime bill? Right? Which was, I mean, I, I don't even want to know how much the prison industrial complex has made off of the suffering of throwing millions, uh, you know, uh, into jail uh, for misdemeanors, giving, slapping them with, with extreme sentences for the three strikes bullshit. I mean, the war on drugs itself... Think of how much money the prisons made, the military industrial complex made. They made bank on that, right? And Biden was a huge proponent of the war on drugs. So it's not just any politician. It's not just the system. No, this motherfucker built the system and you're carrying water for him by deflecting. So, <laughs> you know, this fucking meltdown over here where she's like wagging her finger like, hey, I've been critical, you motherfuckers. <laughs> No, you have not. You have not said shit. And, uh, you know, this is this doesn't even come close. This is. What is, what is this? And again, people are going to say, like, oh, well, you're not you're not happy no matter what she does. No, this is not enough. Do you, do you not hear me? Like, <laughs> what is she doing there? I, I want to know what she's doing in, in D.C. Uh, was, you know, I, I can also trash Republicans. I think anyone can do that. She, she what made her special is that she unseated Crowley. Do you remember that number three in the Democratic Party? That, that's what made progressives special is that we're, they're not going to go in and do the regular uh, you know, act. No, they're going to go and they're going to oppose the system from within the Democratic Party. Good luck to you. That's a futile assignment. But that was at least the premise. They're not doing that. They, they fully assimilated with it. So, so this is very important to point out. OK, and they co opt this this language. They co opt this language about, look, I'm going to say the imperialism word while I don't call out any of the imperialist barbarism that we're doing overseas or, you know, uh, the, the coup in Honduras, for example, a lot of people fleeing, you know, the, all these coups in Latin America, the economic policy, the predatory loans, all of this has contributed to that, right? So if you want to focus on central Latin America and the border crisis alone, never mind what's happening in the Middle East, what's happening in Southeast Asia, all of that stuff, and, and Africa. So, no, I, I don't believe you. One, one, one second. And, uh, <laughs> let's, let's, let's give an update, though. Let's give an update because I want to be fair, right? We have to be fair. So this is today. And, and God, God, I really hope the date, the date is not a joke because it, it is April 1st. But, you know, I'm just going to read you. You can find these headlines all over. This, this one, this particular one's from Yahoo. It says, AOC says border conditions are barbaric and wrong, but a failure by both parties. Okay, so, so what's going on now? Now she's using more 
severe language. Okay. And she's saying they're owed reparations, right? She's saying they're owed reparations as well. I'm not, I'm not going to disagree with her on that. I think that's, I think that's correct, right? I think it's, it's more than that. But the problem is, uh, and again, this one is from the New York Post. This is uh, also, so March, March 31st at 11.54 p.m. I mean, you take it as you will. That's, that's like April 1st. So, you know, I, I'm, you'll have to forgive me. I'm not sure if this was during the exact same uh, Instagram Live that she did, right? But she's saying that uh, they, they're owed reparations. Okay, fine. Um, and she's saying that it's a, a failure of both political parties. Now, once again, I, I want to bring, bring forward my point. Yes, but who, who is the chief architect of that? You, you can't come here and tell me, like, you don't know this stuff. You, if I know this, she knows this. Okay. And she wasn't saying that. Once again, you, you see how she's trying to insulate Biden and the Democratic leadership from criticism. Do you, do you see this? Like, she's pretending to be on the people's side. But what she's actually doing is she's treating Biden differently. She's treating Democrats differently than she was treating Trump on the same issue, the very exact same issue. Two different, you know, sets of discourse. Look, here she's saying concentration camps. These are concentration camps. Is she saying that now? No, she's not. Even though the conditions are, are quite frankly, uh, very similar under Trump and under Biden. They're, they're almost identical, right? So, so two, two sets of language here. It's not the same discourse. And... I'm sorry, but I, I, again, I don't buy this shit, you know, when she's talking about um, <laughs> imperialism. She doesn't give a shit about that, man. You know, you know what she's doing? You know what she's doing? <laughs> I went on her Instagram and she's posting about Joe Biden's dog taking a shit in the White House. You know, this motherfucker bombed my birthplace, my country. The, you know, the, uh, again, you know, Syria is one of the oldest places on Earth. And, and she's talking about Joe Biden's fucking dog shitting on a carpet. I mean, the, the, level, the level of disrespect from these motherfuckers, the level of disrespect. Fuck all of them, man. I, I don't owe these people shit, okay? I don't owe these people shit, and I definitely don't owe them civility after what they're doing. You know, you want to carry water for this war criminal motherfucker? You know, I, I, it's, not even, it's not even a question of Syria. I mean, just for Iraq alone, and I'm not, even, I'm not even Iraqi, I've never been to Iraq. Just for that alone, I despise this motherfucker. I, I don't know what the fuck you were even doing in the same room as him. So, I've, I've had it. I've had it with these charlatans. These people are charlatans. She's, she's an actress, and that was really particularly bad. I want to play one more time, man. I want to play one more time. Because it's not a border crisis, it's an imperialism crisis, it's a climate crisis, it's a trade crisis. And also, it's a carceral crisis. Because as I have <laughs> already said, even during this term and this president, our immigration system <laughs> is based and She knows, man. She fucking knows that, that people are calling her out for being soft on Biden. She fucking knows it. She knows it. That's what the zoom ins were for, right? It's like, I see you. <laughs> don't yell at us go go yell at biden why what the fuck are you doing on instagram go go and say that shit to biden's face maybe she has maybe she has right i i actually i if she had actually done that i'd believe it right i hope so at least but <laughs> the problem is i don't think he would actually meet with her if you look at what happened last week <laughs> they, they sent uh, ron Klain, who's the white house chief of staff to meet with her and um, other progressives right so so now that He's already used the progressives, and especially her, because she's the most famous one of them, to get elected. He won't even meet with them directly, right? It's like, I don't have time for you. Meet with, meet with my White House chief of staff. Now, look, you can argue that, okay, the White House chief of staff, that's, that's still a strong position. You know, it, it, it's a strong role. It has leverage inside of the Oval Office. Sure. Okay. But still, <laughs> it's, it's just interesting. I don't, you know, just for, for, just as a hypothetical, do you think that Bernie Sanders would do that? No, I, I'm pretty sure he would sit down and he wouldn't meet with her, if, even if he were elected president. He wouldn't be sending his White House chief of staff. Right? Right? So, <laughs> I just think that's interesting. But, uh, anyway. Um, she's, she hasn't gone down to the border, you know that, right? And Ted Cruz. Now look, I, again, let's, let's not kid each other here. The only reason Ted Cruz is going down to the border and filming is because he wants to, you know, get one, get one over um, 
Democrats. It's not because he actually gives a shit. Let's let's be very clear about that. Ted Cruz is a fucking. Uh, I mean, I don't even know how to describe this guy. Uh, hold on, let me let, let me find the video for you. I, I put it over here. So, okay, I mean, th th this is messed up. Like this this video, honestly. I'm grateful that he shot it because if you recall, there's a media blackout. So I think now they've started letting in some media, but before it was just one facility. And the thing is that they were only letting uh, certain people in, right? So this is another thing where AOC has said nothing. What, what about the media blackout? Like how on earth is, is the media, you know, sidelined and barred from going in there? Can you fucking imagine the rage if Trump had done that? And he tried to at the beginning, if you remember, right? He ended up caving in. So... Why are they silent on that? Like, you know, they, they talked about restoring decency and, and, and the soul of the nation and, and that Trump was a fascist. What the fuck do you call that when, when by her own terminology, this is AOC's words, the, the government is running concentration camps and they don't let the media go inside. If that was fascism under Trump, then surely it's fascism under Biden, according to them. And again, I hate this because, you know, it, it's it's a. Uh, you know, not to downplay the, the conditions here, but the, the, the thing with with this whole uh, narrative that, you know, Trump is at the same time a Russian agent and he's also a, a fascist. I mean, Americans, they, they, they're <laughs> the nomenclature that they have in political discourse. It's very limited. Right. So any, anyone who's a little left of the uh, Republican Party is a socialist and, and a communist. And anyone who's a little bit to the right of the Democratic Party is a Nazi and, and a fascist. I mean, I mean it, it's it's really insulting, honestly, to actual victims of fascism. But nonetheless, let, let me show you this video from Ted Cruz. And, uh, I mean, this is, this is shocking, honestly. So he, he goes in there and li listen to this. Please give dignity to the people. Please give dignity to the people. So you worked for the commissioner, your senior advisor. You were hired two weeks ago, and you're instructed to ask us to not have any pictures taken here. Please respect the people. Because the, the political rules. leadership at DHS does not want the American people to know it. Please respect the rules, You keep sir. standing in, in front of the pictures, Please so you don't want the, the pictures rules. taken. The rules are arbitrary, and Please they're designed the to keep the American the people, people in the dark. give the dignity and respect. That's all we ask. Well, dignity no, it's not. Respect. You're asking, is this Please. dignity and respect? Look Please at these people. There, there's a pandemic. Please give dignity and respect to the people. Let, let me ask, ask you. you. There, there's a pandemic. I respectfully ask you, sir. There is a pandemic. Like is this respecting the rights of these kids? I ask you. Please are respect you respecting the, the rights of these this kids? This is not a zoo, sir. Please yeah. don't treat the people. You're right. And this is a dangerous place. Please don't treat the people And your policies, unfortunately, are trying to hide them. I understand you are instructed. When 18 I senators ask you came to down here, respect the people, give them dignity and respect. I respect them, and I want to fix this situation. We all want and to fix this. And the administration you're working for is responsible anymore. for these conditions. Please respect the people with dignity okay. and respect. And sir. I ask you to respect the, the people as well. This I am is respecting not respect. you. I am respecting is, the people. This is not respect. Dude, I mean, you you saw that video. What was that? Because this is the line that the uh, Biden administration is, is towing, right? They're saying that we can't let the media in because we don't want to violate the privacy of the um, people in cages. What? No, I'm pretty sure that people who are locked up in those conditions, the, the, you know, their last concern is privacy. Actually, what they would like is for people to know they would like the media to come in and expose the horrible conditions that you're putting them in for the most part. Right. I think that's, that's common sense. And you can see how she's telling him like, no, no, I can't let you film. It's you respect, respect the people. Motherfucker. Did you look behind you and what conditions you're putting them in? You call that respect. But look at this. Biden got me out here agreeing with Ted Cruz. I mean, this is just, you know, <laughs> I mean, what, what are these people doing? It, 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 it's, it's truly astounding. And, um, there's another video of him that I that I put aside where he posted it, I think, a day before. Um, yeah, here we go. So this was on March 26th, right? Take a look. So it's past midnight. I'm standing on the shore <clears throat> of the Rio Grande. The water is right behind me. I'm down on the Texas border along with 18 senators. We made the trip to see the crisis that is playing out. We've already gone to detention facilities that are overrun, many of them with families, small children. We saw multiple mothers who were nursing infant babies who had just crossed over and were being housed in 
outdoor holding pens where they were sleeping on the floor and nursing their babies. We're at the edge of the river. On the other side of the river is Mexico. On the other side of the river we have been listening to and seeing cartel members, human traffickers, right on the other side of the river, waving flashlights, yelling and taunting Americans, taunting the Border Patrol because they know that under the current policy of the Biden administration, they can flood over here. They're getting paid four or $5,000 a person to smuggle them into this country. And our policies, when they smuggle them in, the Biden administration releases them. And more and more and more. Last month, 100,000 people came across the border illegally. We've got 15,000 kids in federal government custody. This is a humanitarian crisis. It's a public health crisis. The illegal immigrants who are being released, they're testing positive for COVID-19 at a seven times higher rate than the American population. And it's a national security crisis. And it's time for the Biden administration to put an end to it and stop sanctioning lawless chaos on our southern border. Yeah, that's great. I wonder where... He was when Trump was doing this. Was he crouched down in the in the savannah when Trump was doing this? Was he so concerned when Trump was doing that? Of course not. He's a hypocrite just like the rest of them. And I'm not, you know, we're not going to um, entertain his nonsense. And uh, once again, you know, uh, <laughs> these people, they, they claim like, oh, yeah, it's 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 an illegal trade that's causing all these problems. No, it's U.S. imperialism. That, you know, it's it's your policies that drive these people to escape. And this is not just in Central and Latin America. This is also in, you know, the Mediterranean, people fleeing from Syria, from Turkey, from uh, from Libya, you know, traveling thousands of miles. Uh, why do you think that they're traveling thousands of miles? You, you think they have nothing better to do? You fucking destroyed their homes. You You stole all their shit for hundreds of years. They have no more resources. You put corrupt politicians in power who rob them and continue to give all the profits to your multinationals. Um, you know, neo-colonialism, and then you lock them into predatory loans. There's no jobs. I, I, they're suffering. There's famine. Of course, they're going to fucking leave because you took all the wealth and that's where they're going to go. They're going to go to the wealth, which was originally theirs. I mean, you know, they, they just completely omit this and they call them migrants, you know, and it's, they're refugees. They're, <laughs> you know, pe people don't risk their lives crossing the Mediterranean or uh, in, in this case, um, you know, walking uh, uh, in the desert. And then being locked up in a, in a cage like that for fun. They, they do that because you've driven them to, to such a, uh, you know, a, 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 just horrific uh, conditions, right? There's, there's no other option. They don't do that for fun. And I think the numbers themselves would kind of indicate that. But of course, they're never going to explain it that way. So, I mean, you know, th this U.S. regime, and I mean all of them, Democrats, uh, Republicans, all they're good at is accusing the other, right? They say, oh, look, it's uh, Joe Biden is... Um, you know, uh, being too lax. Look how many people have crossed over. And then at the same time, they say, oh, no, the conditions are bad, but it's not Biden's fault. It's it's just, you know, it's the system is that way. They, they can't ever fucking do anything, right? It's just, it's, it's just lobbying accusations back and forth. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, they're, ser they're serving the same masters, right? They're serving the same corporations. Uh, it doesn't matter whether Republicans are in power or Democrats are in power. Those camps... They're going to stay open. Why? Because you have corporations that are profiting off of this. Right now, you have Mobile View that is making these containers, right? They're not cages anymore. They're containers with bars on the window. Great. <laughs> so they're, they're mobile cages with air conditioners. What an improvement. I mean, wow. And you saw the other facilities, right? So um, that was in Carrizo, Texas. This one is, is the ones um, that I just showed you. That's in Donna. So, I mean, it depends. And, uh, you know... These corporations, they're making bank. The prison industrial complex is making bank. Um, ICE, which was created uh, under the Department of Homeland Security by Bush. Do you think any of them are going to shut it down? Again, to AOC's credit, she's actually called it out. She said that you know DHS needs to be gotten rid of. ICE needs to be gotten rid of. Okay, well, you know, are you are you lobbying Biden for that? Because again, it's 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 great that you recognize the conditions are bad. Finally, like I don't I don't understand how that took you a month. Um, are are you actually going to get shit done? you know, to get rid of uh, ICE, the DHS. Well, what's going on here, right? Are you going to hold Biden accountable like you said you would? You're going to push him left? Is that happening? Of course not. And, you know, the thing is that um, 
I'm, I'm astonished that Ted Cruz goes down to the border and uh, I, I know we know why he's doing it. He's just, he's, he's, he's still a hypocrite as well. But, you know, I explain this to me. Um, last time, I mean, AOC went down to the border, right? And she did this photo shoot where she's, I mean, I don't know what this is. Like, is that Terminator 2 when the, the nuke goes off in Sarah Connor's vision? Like, what, what the fuck is this? I mean, yeah, it's painful. I, 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 I don't doubt it. But why hasn't she gone down with Ilhan Omar? Why hasn't she gone down with, um, with uh, Joaquin Castro, right? Or Ted Cruz? Like some of the only people that are actually being allowed in are senators, are, uh, you know, uh, Congress people. So you have an opportunity to actually go down there. The media don't. And they're, they're not only letting Biden do this media blackout in the name of privacy, but she's also not going down there. Again, there's no consistency here in her language, in her actions. It's just bullshit. They're all party hacks. All of them. Does this surprise you? I mean, l let's be honest here. Uh... This is, we're talking about the same country that did Abu Ghraib. You, you saw those pictures. They still have Guantanamo Bay open. The, Guantanamo Bay. The Obama promised to close that. In 2007, when, during his campaign, among many other lies, that's still open. People being for, uh, you know, fed through a fucking tube because, you know, for the crime of being born Muslim. They haven't done a, th uh, they haven't done a thing. They have no rights. That's still fucking open. Are we surprised?